Hey, hey, hey. We got to get the microphone on. All right. Welcome, everybody. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. It's so great to see y'all. So awesome to see dropping comments already. Amazing. 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 Um, let me just mute myself. I heard a little bit of audio going here. Oops. There we go. My first time live streaming. Thank you for bearing with me. This is awesome. I'm really happy to have y'all here. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate you greatly. And my hope with this conversation today is that we are going to answer all of your questions related to blogging and specifically related to AI. So, if you have comments, if you have questions, if you have requests from me, please drop them into the comments section below. And I'm seeing a mirror here. That's my bad. Lot to learn. Amazing. So, I'd like to go ahead and get this stream started today by taking a couple of suggestions from y'all on what kinds of topic ideas you'd like me to generate some content on. Now, I want to give you a tour of how to use my free AI tools first and foremost, and then I want to take your suggestions to plug them into these tools to show you how they work and to also show you some of the features of WriteBlogger, which is our paid platform and has many, many more features um, as far as AI tools for bloggers. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I want to ask, yeah, Andy, thank you. Thank you for the, uh, the laugh. Um, got a lot, of, a lot of tech stuff to figure out here. So Andy's my partner with WriteBlogger. He's hopping into the comments, um, so he'll be able to answer questions too. If I miss something, I see lots of comments coming in. So thank you all. Um, Lisa's here. Yes, amazing. Rito. Love this, guys. Thank you all for joining. Um, Michael, Bridget, Alex. Oh my God, we got so many, so many of y'all are here. This is amazing. Um, I really appreciate y'all joining, taking the time out of your busy days. So I want to get straight to the point um, and let's just hop in and let's talk blogging with AI. So first and foremost, I want to show you using my free tools. So Andy and I have been hard at work building AI tools for bloggers over the past year and we've seen a ton of success with them. So to get to the first tool I want to show you, Ryrob Keyword Tool. If you Google search just Ryrob Keyword Tool, then this keyword tool is going to come up first. And if you click on it, it'll take you over here. You can also navigate straight to ryrob.com slash keyword dash tool, and you'll find it there. And what I'd like to do is to get some suggestions from y'all on topics that I can do keyword research for and stuff that I'll be able to generate titles, generate articles for you. So if you have a chance, please drop into the comments anything that I can leave um, or anything that I can use to test out these free tools. I want this to be super valuable for you guys. Um, so please use me. I'm here for the next... 55 minutes, and I want to make your content um, happen. So I'll get this started. I think there's a little bit of a delay in the live stream, so I'll get this started with I'm out in Joshua Tree, California right now, out in the desert, and I want to go for some hikes this weekend, right? Now, I also have a hiking blog, so the way that I like to think about any time I travel somewhere, because I'm such a content-first person, is what kind of content can I capture while I am in a cool new location and also enjoy doing it. So hiking is that crossover for me that I like to do as I travel. So let's type in Joshua Tree Hikes into my keyword research tool. And again, this is free, unlimited use. You can come here anytime you have topics you want to research, uh, things you're considering blogging about. So. There's some features here that you'll see. There's an ideas tab if you want to get ideas for Joshua Tree hikes. This is sort of the, the framing of um, what is a potential 
topic, a way to think about writing on the subject of this keyword phrase. So you can see, obviously, Joshua Tree Hikes is one, but over here in the R um, column, you've got, are dogs allowed in Joshua Tree Hikes? An awesome question if you have a hiking blog and you are writing about Joshua Tree, right? Joshua Tree Canyon hike, Slot Canyon hike, where to hike in Joshua Tree. So this ideas tab, you'll get a lot of value out of it in terms of figuring out how to write about a particular topic. But I wanna do the Explorer and just get some basic keyword data to figure out, is this topic worth writing about? Are people actually searching for answers on this front? And you'll see it takes, takes a little bit to load. Let me click here. Cool. Now, as you can see, we've got a bunch of different results for related keyword phrases. So we built this tool to show you many different opportunities that you could blog about related to the topic at hand. And the first one that comes up is just that straight up term, Joshua Tree Hikes. And you can see the volume, 5,400 monthly searches. That's how many people are searching for this topic every single month. And again, this is an estimate. It uses um, Google search keyword data, and the difficulty here, you can see it ranks it as low. Now, I personally would say this is probably more like somewhere in the low to medium difficulty range, because I know since I've been in this niche for a while that sites like All Trails are super established in the hiking niche, and they're gonna rank near the top for just about every hiking related query, especially if we're talking about best list of hikes. So keep that in mind that these are estimates. And while it's super encouraging to see this as low, um, I would kind of think that this is more about low to medium personally. But as you can see here, tons of different variations of this root keyword phrase, Joshua Tree Hikes, hiking at Joshua Tree, um, Joshua Tree Hiking. And you can see the search volume is showing up the same for all these terms. That's because when someone searches for any one of these terms, it's probably gonna surface a similar amount of results. The same uh, pages, the same posts are gonna be ranking for all of these terms because they're all matching the same intent. It's people searching for the best hikes in Joshua Tree. And as you can see, best hikes in Joshua Tree gets a little bit lower volume. It's a little more specific. Got that extra word, that best qualifier in there. Palm Springs to Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree Trails, that's a good one. I like that one a lot, a little bit less volume, but I would be way more confident in this one being a much lower competition one. But let's do just the, the basic keyword phrase here. Let's click the Ideas tab. And again, this brings up how we can approach these topics and you'll get a ton of suggestions. So often when I'm using this tool, I'm walking away with a ton of different blog post ideas. So ways that you can approach um, this topic. So let's click on Joshua Tree most popular hikes. Now when we click, that takes you over to another free tool of mine. This is the blog title generator tool. And this tool gives you a really clear snapshot of how you could possibly write about this topic. So the keyword research tool gives you ideas. Now when we click the generate ideas on one of those ideas that we just jumped over with, it's gonna spit out a bunch of different titles you can use. So this is a way to refine your keyword research process into an actual title that you can then write about on your blog. And I really like this one. Exploring the best day hikes in Joshua Tree National Park. I'm a huge fan of day hikes. I don't love to do overnight camping out in the wild. Too many, too many animals crawling around for me. Um, so I'm gonna grab this one. Whenever you generate a title here, you just click the copy to clipboard button and it copies that title. Now, what I'll do next is I wanna generate an article using this. So I'll click on this article tab here, the article writer or you can always just navigate here anywhere on my blog, ryrob.com. Just click the tool dropdown and you'll see this article writer button. Now this is my most brand new tool that Andy, the wizard, uh, built with me. And this is the one that generates free AI powered articles. 
and I've got it pulled up already over here. So as you can see, we copied the title from the, the Day Hikes in Joshua Tree, and I'll just go ahead and paste that in here. Exploring the best day hikes in Joshua Tree National Park. Now, let's generate an article about this. You can see some of these options are grayed out here. That's because this is a free limited version of the fully featured tool, the article writer, that's inside of WriteBlogger. Now, this generator will generate a short form article, somewhere between 500 and 1,000 words usually is what it spits out. And we'll just use the classic default tone and writing style. And again, inside WriteBlogger, there's more options, um, a lot more options for length, tone and writing style, the ability to edit the outline, include real-time data, include images and links in your articles. But again, the intention is that this is a very simple, free to use for anyone version of an AI article writer. And we've given you a few different language options as well, but I'm in the US, so I'm gonna do US English. I'll click verify that I'm human. I'm apparently not human. So let me refresh this. That's hilarious. Um, let me paste this title in here again. Cool. And I'll keep the English US. And now let's click generate article and let's see what we get. And it should start pretty much right away. Oh, here we go. As you can see, it uses the title that we fed it and it starts by writing an introduction. Joshua Tree is a stunning desert wilderness in Southern California known for its rugged rock formations. Yep, yep, yep. And amazing hiking trails. If you're planning a visit, here are the best day hikes you shouldn't miss. This is awesome. And I was looking at hikes um, yesterday on my way out here and these are the first two here, Ryan Mountain, of course, since I'm Ryan, I was like, oh shit, I got to do that hike. Um, Ryan Mountain and Las Palms Oasis were the two that came up most. Um, this one in particular, because it's 7.2 miles and I like a nice longer hike, especially this time of the year before it's too hot. Um, but let's see, Skull Rocks, another good one I've done. And we've got five hikes here. And this is this is probably just under 500 words, I would guess, um, just from a quick glance. And we got a conclusion as well. So here, once you've generated an article, you just click the copy content, copy to clipboard. And I wanna show you just real quick what it's like to add that content into an actual blog post. So this is over here on my blog. I'll just click add new. And then right here in the title, I'll just paste and boom. There we go. So you can see this is directly into WordPress. This took what, less than a minute? And I'm the one talking. I'm talking your ear off right now. So if you're just doing this yourself, this entire process of doing keyword research to generating a title, to generating a free first draft of an article using AI, using all of my free tools, you can do this in just a few minutes. And you can see like some formatting stuff you'll wanna update. Um, and maybe change this to something like um, a header. Let me see here. Whoops. Um, there we go. So let's take some suggestions. I wanna make this very useful for y'all. Um, and before we hop over into looking at uh, the right blogger version of these tools, um, I wanna show you some of these as well. So we yeah. have, we got a bunch of comments here, this is amazing. Yeah, banned from my own tool, definitely. Um, that's amazing, uh, let's see, okay. Y'all are so active, thank you for, for all of this. Um, I'm learning now that I have so many comments to sift through, dinosaur jokes, dude, Wookie Fragger, that's an amazing username, first of all. But yeah, dinosaur jokes. Let's definitely do that, man. I love that so much. <laughs> All right, so let's do, let's do a flow using dinosaur jokes. And we'll do this one quicker, I promise. So running the keyword research tool, um, again, takes somewhere between five to 10 seconds to output results. And really think about this tool as giving you many ideas for how you could approach this keyword phrase. Because yeah, look at this, dinosaur, okay, so apparently 5,400 is the amount that everyone searches um, for our terms here today. But yeah, dinosaur jokes, I love this. Um, 
T-Rex jokes, that's incredible. So you can get really niche with your, with your dinosaur related joke content. Dinosaur dad joke, yeah, that's amazing. So dinosaur jokes, dirty. I'm pretty curious what a dirty dinosaur joke is, um, but I think we'll leave that for another day. Um, dinosaur jokes, memes, yeah, love this. So you'll get a bunch of different ideas on how you can produce content that attacks this keyword phrase from different angles. And from an SEO perspective, this is really smart to take a keyword phrase here, drop it in, and see what other kinds of suggestions show up aside from just this main one, right? This is the obvious one. Dinosaur jokes, obviously you'll wanna have a post on that keyword phrase, especially considering difficulty estimate is low. I'm gonna say that's probably a little more low to medium just from my experience with this, but this kind of volume estimate, this is an obvious win. And you can now have a keyword cluster that flows out under the umbrella of dinosaur jokes. So you can have the T-Rex jokes, you can have dinosaur dad jokes, you can have all these different kinds of pieces of content that flow out and they are, in my opinion, they should be separate posts. Um, but let's just do, let's get some ideas. Dinosaur jokes, dirty jokes about dinosaurs comes up a lot. Dinosaur jokes for kids, that's funny. All right, let's use dinosaur jokes for kids. So I'm gonna click on this one and we're gonna generate a title for this. Let's get some ideas on how we could approach this. Just click the generate ideas. Roar with laughter, the best dinosaur jokes for children. That's the obvious winner, oh my God. All right, so let me copy that one. Uh, and then let's generate an article. Roar with laughter, the best dinosaur jokes for children. Absolutely incredible. So let's click generate. And now we're off to the races. So this article's writing, um, there are limits on using this article tool. There are two free articles you can generate every day and every 24 hours it resets for you. So when you come back here, like this is our, this is our second article we're running. So this is, I'm logged into the admin so I can do unlimited ones, but if you were doing this, um, you would be limited after this article. So when you go to generate your third article um, right away, you'll get a message that pops up and says, hey, come back in 24 hours, you can generate more articles. However, um, what I would recommend if, you're, if this really speaks to you, and again, no pressure, but if you like this, if this seems cool to you, if this is a writing process you wanna work with, um, which I highly recommend experimenting because it allows you to create more content faster, um, you're gonna wanna check out WriteBlogger. Um, it's just, it's $29.99 a month, and we'll pop over there in a second. I'll show you how some of those tools function so you can compare and contrast. And we'll do some more examples in Write Blogger too. Um, but this article turned out pretty awesome. What do we get, like 10 jokes here? Amazing. I love that. So um, I'm gonna copy this one too. And I'm gonna save this in a new post as well because I would like to give you this content um, if you want to drop me an email, I'm just ryan at writeblogger.com. So for both of y'all that I just generated articles for, um, if you want to drop me just a quick email, I'll send you this content. But let's go ahead and hop back over to WriteBlogger now. So I want to show you just a few of the features of WriteBlogger that build upon all these free tools on my blog. So again, the free tools, are great. There are limitations to some of them, but they will get you going with figuring out an AI workflow to your blogging process. And again, I, I wanted to really just clarify how to use these AI tools in your blogging process. So from my perspective, AI tools will never replace human writers, bloggers, marketers. Um, these are simply tools to be used to create more content faster. And Sure, AI can do some things that either we can't or maybe if we're having writer's block, that's really where these tools step in is they help you go faster and they help you when you have writer's block. My mom uses WriteBlogger for her blog and she, she messages me all the time talking about how 
she's running out of steam on an article, and so she'll use the introduction tool inside Write Blogger to just generate an introduction um, for an article that she's feeling blocked on. And that's really where these tools step in, is that it's a toolkit in your content process. So I wanna do smart suggest, and I would love, 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 love to scan someone's website here. Um, if someone is brave enough and wants to drop in their website uh, URL, then I want to get some uh, suggestions for articles that we should create based on um, these, based on your site and the content that you're publishing on your site. And I know there's a little bit of a lag, so we can do a couple of these. All right, Kelsey says, do mine. All right, Kelsey, can you drop your URL in the, in the comments again? Because uh, there are so many comments, I'm losing track of some of these. Um, so yeah, I'll give you a second uh, to drop your website URL in there. And you may have to, the, there may be some comment restrictions on, some, on dropping URLs in. So if you need to make a space, um, you know, your website, space.com, um, that might be kind of the hack, the workaround here. And bravely she blogs, you got it, let's do this. Um, now I'll say the, the Smart Suggest tool, it works best when there is an RSS feed for your blog. So if you are running on WordPress, if you use Yoast SEO, that plugin naturally automatically sets up an RSS feed for your blog once you configure all the settings. So if this, if this tool times out, um, then that's what happened. Now I'm seeing, we didn't test this before, uh, before um, and I'm seeing no one adding their URL. So I'm guessing there's some restrictions there. So bravely she blogs. I'm gonna guess I can find you on Google. Bravely she blogs. Hell yes. All right. So let's copy that. Now we'll come back to the smart suggest and let me just paste this in. Probably gonna clean this up. Just do bravelysheblogs.com and let's scan the site. And what this will tell us instantly is if you use WordPress if you have an RSS feed connected to your blog. Um, so let's see. Now, most of the tools inside Write Blogger, they take somewhere between like five to 10 seconds to get up and running. And hell yes, you have an RSS feed on your blog. So, ooh, we like this. The power of gratitude. How practicing gratitude can improve your mental health. The benefits of exercise for depression, simple ways to incorporate movement into your day, coping with anxiety. Dang, hey, you gotta connect with me because I really like all the topics you're blogging about. Um, and this is a direction that I also want to write more in myself. So please, please, please connect with me, just ryan at writeblogger.com. Um, I'll hook you up with the content that we create here too today, but I love this. Um, I love this so much. Now. Again, the Smart Suggest tool. This is designed to give you blog post ideas in the form of kind of fully formed titles to, to approach for your blog. Now, some of these topics you may have covered already, but what this tool does is it scans your site using the RSS feed and it generates more related ideas. So if you see some ideas in here that are duplicates or too similar to content you've already done, just click the edit and run again or reset form and paste in your URL again, and you'll get a totally new list. But let's talk about the power of gratitude. So just for the sake of argument, let's assume that you do not have something yet on your blog on this topic. And I'll click the tools button, and let's say we wanna generate some titles. Let's say you want to just get some alternates, some other ways to think about approaching this topic. So let's click generate titles, and it brings us over to the blog post title tool. You'll see it pulls it in right here. And this is where things get really fun inside Write Blogger. Andy is a master at building this tool. And so he has gone nuts on creating really cool options for tone and writing style. Um, excited is a really fun one. Authoritative is a good one. Um, sales oriented, if I saw someone left a comment earlier talking about, um, I think it was Michael, talking about sales pages or pre-sale copy. When you use the sales-oriented um, writing style 
in your in, inside right blogger you'll get content that's much more like direct selling or perhaps for a landing page um, but let's use creative creative is my favorite tone here and again we've got a bunch more language options inside right blogger there's about 20 or so um, but i'm here in the us so i'll use us english and let's click generate now you'll see it starts writing right away Wow, this is awesome. The secret to a happier life, cultivating a grateful mindset. Why gratitude should be your daily vitamin for mental health. This is really creative, I like that. The neuroscience behind the power of gratitude. Gratitude journaling. I'm gonna turn this over to you, um, Bravely She Blogs. Which of these would you like me to do? And I'll, I'll scroll slowly so you can choose one. How gratitude can help you manage stress and anxiety. That's an exciting one. The link between gratitude and resilience. I mean, honestly, all these are pretty dang good. These are all topics that, from my perspective, seem like they would fit your drive, your purpose with your blog, and also match some keyword intent, which we'll get to shortly. But let's see here. Oh my gosh. That literally just reminded me to take my multivitamin. Yeah, good boy. I love that. Speaking of multivitamins, let's do our multivitamins. Here we go. Centrum Daily for Men's. This is not a plug, I promise. Awesome. So, Bravely She Blogs. Um, if you see one of these... Oh, where do I sign up? The link between gratitude. Oh, the link between gratitude and resilience. I love it. Cool. Where was that one? The link between gratitude and resilience. How to bounce back stronger. Absolutely awesome topic. Let's click tools. So let's generate an article on this one. And we're going a little backwards. You'll probably want to start with the keyword tool inside Right Blogger. Um, there's some more filtering options than what you'll see on the free version of mine. And we're constantly improving the keyword tool in Right Blogger first before some of those changes filter into the free one on my site. So I'll give you that caveat, um, but let's click generate article. We're already at 27 minutes together. This is nuts, guys. Time flies when you're having fun, I guess. Um, but I wanna do some more examples after this too. So the link between gratitude and resilience, how to bounce back stronger. Now, one of the best features about the article writer tool inside WriteBlogger is this edit outline feature. And what we do behind the scenes is Andy designed this tool to send the query to the OpenAI API, which is the AI platform we use to power all these results, and to create an outline first. And then it gives us the option to edit the outline, to add sections, to remove sections, to make it more our own. And that's where your superpower as a human with emotional intelligence and a heart and a brain really comes in and makes you invaluable as far as using AI tools. So you are irreplaceable because you have a collection of unique life experiences. And during this outline phase, this is your opportunity to add examples, to add sections that maybe AI didn't think of or didn't come back with. You can include images if you want, but I personally like to use my own stock images. Um, so I'm gonna skip that one here for this example. Um, you can include links. I like to source my own links and sources usually. And using real-time data. This one is great if you blog about timely subjects or news-related topics. So something like, something like that's going on in the news. You know, I saw recently that there were some big layoffs at Meta, um, who owns Facebook. And if you're blogging, you know, the day of a bunch of layoffs at Meta, then you'll want to use real-time data. And what Andy's done with this feature is it goes and it queries Google search to actually pull like up to the minute data on what's going on in the world as far as this topic's concerned. So tone, writing style, I like creative, so I'm going to stick with that one. English, US, I'm going to, I'm going to assume that's, that's going to be relevant for you. And then under the advanced tab here, things get really fun. So this is where this tool is differentiated heavily from the free one on my blog. You can generate long form content. So the short form is gonna be similar to what you'll get with the free article writer on my blog, 
But when you do the long form, that's when stuff gets really interesting. It, the sky is really the limit with this as far as output, but often these articles come back at somewhere between 1,000 and 3,000 words, depending upon how lengthy your outline is. Point of view, you can also customize. Um, I'm gonna assume this is gonna be in the first person. Most bloggers I know would like to write in the first person. So let's click generate. And what's now happening behind the scenes is we are sending all of these customized details over to the OpenAI platform. And again, this is a huge factor, a differentiating factor between using something like ChatGPT directly and using WriteBlogger. We've created the prompts behind the scenes and this use, easily usable interface to do these things with just a couple of clicks and in a couple of seconds. So you can see already we got the outline and let's see, what is gratitude? What is resilience? The relationship between red, gosh, this is pretty good. Gratitude's impact on resistance, gratitude fosters, okay. Cultivating gratitude, keep gratitude journal, building resilience through gratitude. I like this. This is a pretty good start. Let me add an outline. So you have options to remove sections, to edit the title of sections, um, you can add outline items, but let me see here. Let's do examples. Examples, let's just say three examples of a daily gratitude practice. Okay, perfect. And so we can, you can also nest these items. So if you wanted this to be an H3 instead over there, you can do that, or you can just drag it back to be its own section. So now once your outline is dialed in, this looks pretty good. Let's click generate. And the article writer goes to work. Now this is where the process can take up to a couple of minutes even, even a few minutes sometimes um, for the super lengthy outlines um, because again this is going to end up writing a couple thousand word article most likely so as this is going um, i'll show you just kind of a preview of what that looks like as it's going um, you'll want to stay on this page and you see this message here please don't exit this page now what happens if you do exit this page if you close this tab or if you navigate away um, what it'll do is it'll pause your content right where it is at the time you navigate away from the page. So it freezes the content as it is and it adds it to your content dashboard here. So one of the big benefits of using a tool like WriteBlogger is that we save everything you do in your private account dashboard. So we don't have access to that content, only you do. And everything you ever make with WriteBlogger will be right here. So if you wanna come back revisit something, or maybe you're really on one uh, during a particular day and you're like, I'm just gonna generate 10 articles, 20 articles, 30 articles. Using WriteBlogger, every tool inside is unlimited. And you can really just go nuts in here. And if you're really feeling it for a particular day, create a bunch of content, come back to it later, think on it. Um, or if you um, want to come back to a piece of content that is doing particularly well on your blog. So you generated an article about gratitude and resilience. This stays in your account. You can come back to it in your content dashboard and you can remix it. You can click on it. It'll bring you to this page here. Um, when this article is complete, it'll take you to a complete version of this article and you can edit the prompt and run it again. So if you want to remix any of your content, refresh it, um, publish something new, over the same topic, it's easy to do with just a couple of clicks. Or again, like if something's doing particularly well, maybe you'll come back and you'll say, hey, I want to have some more content on related topics. And so you'll be able to see right there in that dashboard where everything lives. So our goal is to make this a super easy process for you. And again, that's, that's something else that sets WriteBlogger apart from something like a chat GPT. Um, it's not a very organized system, so you, there is no repository for where all the content is that you create. There's just kind of a simple list along the side. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of um, 
why we decided we wanted to make Write Blogger. And again, getting an output like this article from something like ChatGPT directly is gonna take a lot of finessing. You won't get something like this on your first go round, which is clearly gonna be like a couple thousand words in length, I can see. Um, and what Andy and I have done that makes Write Blogger unique is we have worked relentlessly on the prompts that we send to OpenAI. So we've used our collective knowledge and experience of blogging um, for 10 years each, 20 years of collective blogging experience to really design the prompts that solicit a response like what you're seeing here. And that is a true art and science, I'll tell you that. Um, because it's not easy to go to ChatGPT and to get an article like this directly out of it. Um, so we tried to make that process simple to be able to do just in a few clicks um, and do it at scale. Again, this, this tool, Write Blogger, it's about helping you blog faster. So creating the same high level version of content, quality content for your blog and to do a bunch more of it than you were previously capable of doing. So we're about done here with this article. There's been a few minutes, um, but hey, good things take time, right? Uh, I'm really curious to see how many words this one will be. I think it's gonna be somewhere around a couple thousand, if I had to guess. And I will definitely send you this article. So this article stays in my Write Blogger account. Um, I won't publish this anywhere, obviously. Um, but if you drop me an email to ryan at writeblogger.com, then I'll, I'll send you this. And you can see here, 1,872 words, 12,000 characters. And whenever you get a, an article generated on WriteBlogger, we love if you can either thumbs up or thumbs down it based on how this turned out for you. And if this didn't turn out the way you wanted, all you need to do is click edit and run again. And it goes back to just this prompt. You get all the uh, options again, and you can run the prompt again and see what it generates. Or maybe you wanna tweak the tone and the writing style a little bit. Or you decide, hey, this is a short form article, or you choose that maybe you do wanna add stock images or add links into it. Um, but yeah, you've got options. And when you click the little download button here, you have a couple of options. You can download it as a Word doc that'll just save straight to your computer. You can copy all of this content as Markdown if you'd like to work in that format. Or if you just click this copy button here, which is what I do, this copies it directly to your clipboard in a format that plays really nicely with WordPress. So let's add a new post. And again, I promise I will not publish this. This is your article. Uh, and then let's just click paste. And there we go. You'll see another difference between what we've dialed in with Write Blogger and what you'll see with the free article generator tool is that the formatting comes through perfectly, copying from Write Blogger. All the header twos are formatted correctly, the header threes, you can see the paragraphs. Um, if you use the option to add links into your post, there will be sources linked below and some text will be hyperlinked and that'll come through perfectly as well. Um, images will come through. So this is all um, all simply just a quick example of how to do this with Bright Blogger. And let me save this draft so that I can get this to you later. Let's go back to posts. And I'd like to take some more suggestions here. Um, let me pop open the chat. Um, let's see. Can I get someone who can review my website? My previous question got buried, so curious about how the difficulty really works because I thought that someone's domain authority also plays into the time to rank on Google. Kelsey, awesome question. Hell yes, your domain authority does play a factor in your rankability. So the difficulty to rank on the keyword research tool, that's going to be just a generalized how difficult is this keyword phrase gonna be to rank for, given all of the existing players out there competing for this term. So when you see something like a low or a medium, what that tells me is that there aren't like an absurd number of highly established websites going after that term. 
any keyword phrase on the internet for the most part, if it has search volume, is gonna have competition. That's just the reality of the world we live in, right? But as your domain authority grows, and more importantly than just domain authority as, as a number, um, as a metric, is gonna be topical relevance. So if your blog has 100 articles about hiking and you keep publishing more content about hiking, Google is gonna say, oh wow, this site is clearly about hiking, so we should reward hiking-related content more than, say, content about the power of gratitude on the same blog. So there's a lot to be said about really choosing a niche and sticking to it, or at least making the vast majority of your content on your blog really honed in on that particular niche that you've chosen to go in on. And of course, it's okay to stray away from that, especially in the name of following your heart and feeling engaged and feeling like your blog does something um, for you in addition to providing value to other people. But yeah, um, that would be, that's my take on the keyword difficulty thing. And also take it all with a grain of salt. Take it all with a grain of salt. These are just estimates and you can use other keyword tools to compare and contrast, but at the end of the day, your ability to rank for this content in Google searches is always gonna be a combination of your own quality. So using something like this article, The Power of Gratitude, um, as, as a starting point to create a really powerful article that matches search intent, that matches SEO best practices, that adds your own humanity, like adds your own heart into the article. Taking this as a first draft, making it your own, that's the real secret sauce here, everyone. Don't ever, in my opinion, don't ever expect results by generating an article in ChatGPT, WriteBlogger, any AI tool. Press publish on it on your blog and expect it to automatically rank somehow. Unless your website has a domain rating that is absolutely through the roof, far, far greater than mine, that content doesn't have a strong chance of ranking well. What you will do with your superpower as a human is use these tools to generate first drafts that are good, not absolutely earth-shatteringly amazing because it is still AI content, but this content impresses me constantly and it's only getting better and we're only continuing to improve the prompts we send to the platform as well. So take these as first drafts and then do what you do best. Add yourself into your article Dial it in, use the Yoast plugin, Yoast SEO plugin for WordPress, highly recommend. Um, I also use ClearScope, it's a paid tool, it's not, it's not inexpensive, so if you have friends that you can split the monthly subscription with, that's the way to go with something like ClearScope. But using these SEO tools will help you find that balance between putting your heart and soul into an article and also dialing, dialing it in to rank high in Google search. And then from there, once you've matched that search intent, got your SEO best practices, got something that is really like well-designed to, to go into another human's heart, then you start building links to your content. Share your articles on social media channels where your audience is present, network with other bloggers in your space, build relationships where you can publish on other, other sites, um, and building links to your content from other relevant, this is important, relevant websites in your industry, regardless of their domain rating. But ideally, the higher the domain rating, the better. Getting links back from other sites is the way that Google determines, okay, this piece of content, this website, it is authoritative on the topics that the anchor text links to you from. So if you have, if I take the Joshua Tree Hikes example, if I publish that article, then I'll go reach out to a bunch of different hiking related blogs. And if they have no competitive content on that topic, then I'll write a guest post for them if they're open to it. And I'll link to that Joshua Tree article from my guest post on the other site. And it's a slow burn, this process takes time, but this is the best way to build a sustainable foundation for a business around your blog. And it tells Google, over time that, hey, this website is authoritative because all these other sites link to it. Okay, that was a long answer. Thanks, Kelsey, for bearing with me. Um, 
Genji on Orlando. Hi, can AI be flagged as plagiarism? Yes, absolutely AI can be flagged as plagiarism because I'll tell you what, AI plagiarism detection tools are designed, they are tools themselves and they're designed to um, pick up different flags out there that will say, hey, this is maybe similar to other content across the web. However, I'll tell you, any AI tool that spits out results that don't get detected by plagiarism detection, they are gaming the system. They are coming up with ways to work around how plagiarism detection tools work. So from my perspective, understanding how plagiarism detection tools work, they don't actually tell you, hey, this article steals content from these other articles. What they're doing is they're running complex calculations behind the scenes that determine a likelihood of how similar this piece of content is to another piece of content. Now, that being said, this is something that we are constantly working on inside WriteBlogger, um, and we're building a plagiarism detection tool inside of WriteBlogger um, so that you can also run these yourself and get a sense of how this is working. But from my perspective, um, AI content creation tools don't plagiarize in the true sense of what plagiarizing is. What they are doing is they are going out and they are scanning an absurd number of content pieces on the internet on these topics, and they're compiling something unique and new every single time you generate an article. So if we took this power of gratitude example and we just generated it straight up again, it would be a different article. And is that plagiarism if there are some similarities of it? It depends on which plagiarism tool you use, right? Let me see. Okay, I wanna hop into some more questions. Okay, why not ChatGBT? Um, I feel like I, I did answer that question already. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, if ChatGBT is this open meadow that you show up in, um, most people that I know have a hard time getting it to output something that you're super excited about. So what we've done with WriteBlogger is we have curated all these prompts to be really, really well dialed in from an SEO perspective and to give you this one-click ability, a bunch of different options, edit the outline, do things like this, and to create content at scale, to save it in a dashboard, to be able to remix it, to use all these other different tools along your content creation process. Shashank, how much time will it take me if I start blogging and write one post per week consistently? And my content quality is also good to make 500 a month. That's a fantastic question. I love a good specific question. The answer is truly, I don't know. It depends on so many different factors, but to expectation set yourself. I'll, I'll link, Andy maybe can link actually to an article I have on my blog that talks about how long does it take to make money blogging. And in that article, I give you some benchmarks for what my journey has been because everyone's journey is different. And it takes time is the short answer, but getting to somewhere around $500 a month in revenue with a blog, that's gonna be typically somewhere in the six to 12 month range. And again, there's so many caveats on that. So I almost hate to give you an answer that clear, but um, posting once a week, that'll be tough to get to that income level in that time frame. I highly recommend publishing more often than that. If you can publish um, a couple of times a week, basically the more time that you're able to allocate towards blogging and maintaining high quality, connecting with people, doing all the things, connecting with others in your niche, building some community on social media platforms. If you're able to do all of these things and publish content regularly, maybe also publish some videos on YouTube, that is gonna be the path to building up momentum with your blog business. And again, depends on also how you wanna monetize. Selling services is always a really quick way to monetize your blog. Um, if you have a skill or experience with writing or marketing or designing, developing, um, attracting people to your blog who would want to hire you to do a service for them is often the fastest way to generate revenue from a blog, but it's not the only one. And in that article that 
that if Andy's still here, he'll, he'll link to, um, uh, or if you want to message me, Ryan at writeblogger.com, I can send you the link too. I talk a lot about different considerations for ways to monetize um, and timelines based on it. Let me see, is WriteBlogger free? WriteBlogger is not free. It's $29.99 a month, but that is for unlimited use, and that is the lowest uh, WriteBlogger will ever be as far as price point goes. We're, we're finding that there's a huge appetite for this, obviously, because these tools are so new and exciting, um, but for now it's $29.99 a month. We can't promise that it'll always be that price point, especially if you're, you're catching this as the recording later. I use ChatGPT to sort my blog ideas out, and you're right, it takes a lot of time. Yes, for sure, I agree. That was actually why WriteBlogger was born, was uh, we've been using ChatGPT quite a lot, and we were like, damn, this is just not, not as organized as we want. Um, but let's see here. We got some more questions. Oh my gosh. Y'all are awesome. Y'all are seriously awesome. Thank you so much for, for all the questions and being here. Um, I'm having a blast. I got to do this more often. Um, if you, if you would like more of these, give me a thumbs up, um, and we'll definitely make it happen. Kelsey, this has been incredibly helpful. I've been using the tools, but the stream is helping better. Yeah, I love that. Okay. So what I'm thinking is, um, maybe I'll do some sort of regular stream where I just share a process, um, take questions, things like this. Um, but yeah. Rido, can I use Leonardo AI picks for my blogs? Yeah, Rido, that should be no problem. Um, as long as, so I'm not familiar with Leonardo myself. I've only checked it out. Um, as long as their licensing allows you to use the images royalty free, credit free um, on your blog, you should be good to go. And Andy has, has a tool called Mighty Share. It's a WordPress plugin. Um, that we're working on integrating more seamlessly with WriteBlogger that will generate featured images um, to use for each of your articles. So that's a feature that's coming soon inside WriteBlogger. Um, let's see. Thank you for being honest around the process. My blog's been a labor of love. Yeah, so Bravely She Blogs. I love your vibe. I can tell I'd get along with you really well. Um, yeah, my, my biggest piece of advice here is to never let AI tools replace your heart in your content creation process. That is what makes you special. And in a world that is increasingly going towards more and more people, companies, brands, generating AI content and pressing publish, going from prompt to publish, as I like to say, your superpower is gonna be your heart, your emotional intelligence, your ability to connect with real people through your writing, through video, through audio, whatever mediums you choose to create content in, that will be like your absolute superpower. So I, I highly recommend as you start using these tools more, use them as first drafts. That's what I've been doing. That's been helping me scale my content creation process so much faster. It's, it's honestly kind of ridiculous um, how I can maintain the same quality level and cut my creation time down by about a third, somewhere between a third and a half, I find, um, which is huge for someone without that much time. Uh, let me see, okay. I've been using WriteBlogger for about a week now and the contents are rated awesome on my SEO tool. Yes, I love to hear that. Thank you so much for sharing that. That's amazing. Does WriteBlogger have how-to videos? Um, yes. We, we are working on more how-to videos, um, and my intention with streams like this too is to create more of that content. So Mitch, if you end up checking out WriteBlogger, if it calls to you if, you, if you decide to show up, send me an email of which tools you want a how-to video on, and I'm gonna make those for you this weekend. Um, so just ping me, just ryan at writeblogger.com. I'll make you any how-to video for WriteBlogger tools that'll be helpful. Um, since we have 40 different tools inside the platform, I wanna prioritize it based on what's gonna be most helpful to y'all who chose to join me live today, so thank you. Let me see here. Um, can this tool, ooh, Alex, good question. Can this tool create a book or a dialogue children's book? Um, it's not designed intentionally for something like that. However, what I'll say is you can use something like the paragraph tool inside WriteBlogger. 
what do we got? Yeah, you can use something like the paragraph tool to generate smaller sections of content. Um, or if you want to structure some of your sections of your book, like think of the article tool as perhaps writing chapters for you, something like that. That could be a framing for it, but that's actually a really good idea. We've been focusing more on tools specifically for bloggers, but now that you mentioned that, something like an ebook generator could be pretty slick, um, or like an ebook outline tool. We'll definitely add those ideas to um, our pipeline for Write Blogger because that's fantastic. I think that that taps into some of the next level stuff that we could do with Write Blogger. Um, and Andy's probably over there gritting his teeth at like, God, Ryan, you're signing me up for so much work. <laughs> oh man, I love that. Um, okay. Oh, so I'm seeing now, I'm catching up on so many of these comments. Thank you guys for being so engaged, this is amazing. Kelsey, if you just Google search, how long does it take to make money blogging? Um, that article of mine should be number one-ish, number one, number two, something like that. Um, it's a pretty new one, but I think it was climbing quickly. Let's see. Ah, so any link, links are not working in the chat, amazing. I'm so happy to be doing this uh, as, a, as a dry run in real life here. We're learning so much together. Um, but yeah, we'll get there. Ooh, great question. On Kaway, how's WriteBlogger different from Jasper and other hyper writer specific tools? WriteBlogger is somewhat similar to other AI tools. However, the way that we differentiate our platform is this is built by and for bloggers. I've been blogging for 12 years. Andy's been blogging for about the same. And we are constantly creating this tool set to be perfected for the blogger use case. And we are the only tool suite that focuses specifically on bloggers. We also have a really in-depth keyword research tool that we're constantly building out inside Write Blogger. It does a bit more than what you'll see the free version on my blog does. And we are adding more features to it. That's actually a huge focus area for us moving forward is more on the SEO tool front for bloggers. And we'll be doing things like backlink checkers um, and other tools that more in-depth platforms like Ahrefs and Moz offer for really high price points. What we're finding is that we can do versions of a lot of those same features um, and put them inside a Write Blogger for you. So our intention with Write Blogger is to make a one-stop shop platform for bloggers to do everything that you want to do. Um, so if you have feature ideas, requests for us on tools to add, please, please, please drop them into the comments here or email them to us, ryan at writeblogger.com or andy at writeblogger.com. We, we truly want to add the tools that bloggers like you are telling us you want. We have a decent idea, but we don't know everything. That's the big secret. We don't know everything. So we want to hear from you. That's what's helping us make this platform that much more effective for bloggers. So we've got time for a couple more questions. I'm so sorry that we're not gonna to get to every question here today. 307 comments, you guys are amazing. I can't believe this. You really filled my heart up. Thank you for that. Um, I wanna know how you make 25,000 Bluehosts in one month in December. Yeah, good question. Um, that is primarily driven from my content that teaches people how to start a blog, how to install WordPress, how to get a blog set up, the best hosting plans for bloggers. It's a collection of content I have that has been around for five plus years on my blog. So there's lots of links that have been built to it. I've linked to it from a lot of guest posts. Um, it's done really well in organic search. Um, a lot of the content on my blog related to hosting companies specifically. So hosting companies, that's the stuff. Um, those affiliate programs, they pay really well when you refer someone who starts a hosting plan with them. So it's as simple as that. Um, AI is my second brain helping me express my heart. Ooh, I love that. That's such good framing. Yes, and it can help you express your heart even more. I love that. Okay, okay. We're getting to the end. We've got one minute left and then I need to hop off. Hey, my mom's here. Oh my gosh. 
Y'all, shout out to my mom, Jamie Perkins, if you see her in the chat. Her blog, The Minimalist Boomer, has been going nuts lately. She started it just a few months ago, and I am so proud of her. It's absolutely incredible what she's doing over there. So you got to check it out if, if you're into living a minimalist lifestyle. Okay. Ebook tool would be wild. Yes, it would be wild. All right, guys. I'm going to scroll through. If there's one more question I can get to, I want to answer. Let me see. I have to drop off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So guys, this has been awesome. Um, man, so many questions. What I'd like to do is I'd like to come back to y'all and answer more questions. So we are obviously going to do another one of these sessions. Um, perhaps next week or the following week. Um, I'll see maybe if Andy can join me, if we can figure out how to do a collaborative session and answer more of these questions for y'all. 320 comments is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Um, and for all the questions I didn't get to, if you want to email me, just ryan at writeblogger.com. What I'll do is if I, if I can sometime over the next few days or this weekend, Maybe I'll just do a Q&A video that I can post on, on YouTube and send out to y'all. But um, if not, we'll be coming back again live soon. I promise that. This was clearly a lot of fun. Um, so again, thank you all for being here. This is amazing. Um, I appreciate you trying this out with me. This is my first live stream I've ever done. Um, so I hope you got some value out of it. And again, um, please, please, please use all the free tools on my blog to your heart's content. Um, and if right blogger calls to you, if this stuff feels exciting, if you want to go deeper, use more tools, get stronger outputs and really integrate this into your content creation process. Right blogger is just $29.99 a month. Um, you can find it at writeblogger.com. And as always, ask me any questions you got. I'm a real human here. I want to, I want to chat with y'all. So Anytime you have questions, just shoot me an email, ryan at writeblogger.com, or you can catch me on Twitter. I'm the Ryan Robinson there, but I'll see y'all again soon. This was a blast. Thank you so much. You've made my day. Love y'all.